an interleague matchup. We'll see the Chicago White Sox as they play against the Pittsburgh Pirates. And it's game time on 2K Sports. It's Major League Baseball welcoming you to our 2K broadcast, the start of summer just around the corner. Here's a glance at Pittsburgh's starter. As he gets into this White Sox lineup, Steve, a little strategy? Well, in this matchup for the pitcher, not the best matchup for him, so he really has to limit base runners right now. Don't give this quality lineup too many opportunities to score runs. Presented by Pepsi, we'll show you the lineup Ozzie Guillen's got going. So who are you looking at, John? And so Johnny Damon leads it off. Last outing for the White Sox proved to be a win. Talk about a club on fire. How about a 13-game win streak? An understatement to say they're in the zone. Well, and it's like you would have expected, and of course the fans I know were, but still early on in the season, leading their division. Definitely a strong start, and it looks like maybe they've got the focus to maintain it. That ball swung on, hit high, in the air, way back, warning track, gone, goodbye, home run. The first run of the ball game, you'll have to get that on the big fly ball and a 1-0 lead. Now that's quite a way to start the day. First batter up, there's already one out of the park. And if you're the pitcher on the mound, you're not so sure you really wanted to start this day. Well, that's not the way he wanted to start it for sure. He's got to shake it off, regroup, and go right back at him. Well, that's what you want. Run support for your pitching and attack the opposition. That's what the White Sox are doing right here. That one put in play, and it's going to be fielded by McCutcheon. One away. And the Pirates in the field. Here's a look at their defense. Uh, Steve, a factor for them? Well, they're expecting solid defense from Aki Uemura, a guy who converted from third base to second base. He has that alligator skin glove out there, the only one in the major leagues. There's a swing high and deep into center field. Way, way back there. They'll take that one run homer. They need that. Now the lead is two. Now second time around. Same result. Two home runs off the same pitcher in this inning. Somehow he just seems to know what's coming off him. Boy, he's got to turn the page. Now White Sox lead expanded here. Home. Gary, they just keep getting right big hits. Fielder, number 20, One out. Faces empty. Pitch on the way. Right Swings ball. and misses. The sinker, 0-1. Well, he got a little over anxious on that last sinker and swings and misses. He deals. He swings now and really hit that. That's two gone. And now he's got a moment to see how the Pirates are doing this year, rank wise in the National League. Eighth in batting average with runners in scoring position, ninth in hits, and they find themselves in the top 10 in stolen bases, showing that speed, a major part of their ability to manufacture runs. Bases empty with two outs. Foul. That one goes foul. A little too eager, and he's behind. Oh, and two. A shot up the middle. That should be a base hit. Now Let's take a chance now to take a look at where the White Sox sit today in the rankings in the American League. First in batting average. First in batting average with runners in scoring position. And they're also number one in hits. A lineup that puts the ball in play, finds holes, 
and gets themselves on base. A real bonus to scoring runs. Here's a runner on for Alex Rios. Two hits on two at bats. Lifetime against Carrasco. This one foul back. Here it comes. He swings and drives this one. And there's the third up. And so they quickly put up the first two runs here, getting an early lead. The White Sox on top, two to nothing. And doing the pitching, it'll be John Danks. He gets settled in for Chicago. And Steve will be focusing here, Pittsburgh hitters. How about his thoughts? As a hitter, when you face John Danks, you have to be patient. You know he's a guy that wants to expand the zone, but he'll give up a walk and he'll give up a home run. So hitters counter critical. Work the count. Get that 2-0 pitch, that 3-1 pitch, and then sit on the fastball and look to drive it. Yeah. Saul McCutcheon is sent down. Here's a look at the offense now Number for the three. Pirates, presented by Pepper. In our scouting report, John, who are we watching for today? Well, Ryan Dome, it's a guy that you just can't ignore in the lineup. You know, a lot of times the catcher position. On the ground to third. And that'll retire at Iwamura. And now's a good time to take a brief look how the White Sox stack up defensively. Are you keeping an eye on anyone? Well, they're confident with Alex Rios out there. Just a solid all-around defender with a strong throwing arm. He's a quality defensive player. And we've got Jones batting. Well, the Pirates losing their last game. They were hoping to take the series after splitting games one and two. They ended up grabbing, swung on, hit. And Pittsburgh with their first hit. Now batting. But the last thing you want to do is have a quick inning. That two out hit right there will prolong the inning. Great piece of hitting. Runner on here, hitting Ryan Domit. Batting 333. That's a two for six lifetime against the White Sox. Ball. Third ball just misses. One and oh. The 1 0 -oh pitch. Good cut fastball in there. One and one. Swinging and a miss, and it's now one and two. The 1 2 pitch. On the ground to second. Beckham. And he throws on to first. That'll retire the side. No runs on a hit, and they'll strand it. The White. Leading it off, A.J. Brzezinski, one of the best batting averages in the league. A.J. Brzezinski. Swings, lines this one back up the middle. The catch is made. Right now we have the teams doing their best to get on base, courtesy of State Farm. The White Sox, number one. Second, the Yankees. In third, the Twins. Red Sox, fourth. And for the Orioles, they are fifth. If patience is a virtue, this is the most virtuous team in all of baseball. Number one in on-base percentage. You talk about a team that makes a liner towards the hole, and it gets down. The streak is on. Coming so, Jim, tell me, coming up. It's nice to get that runner on base with one out. Good piece of hit in that single. Now they got something to work with. One down, runner at first. Tommy will foul that one away. Here's the pitch. There's a swing and a ball hit high into the air, deep to right field. Now a four-run ball game. They just doubled their lead on that one. Well, the pitcher's going to have to make some adjustments right now, Gary. That's the third home run he's given up in this game. The hitters have figured out some kind of sequence they're queuing on. Now, good hitting coaches help the hitters do that. The White Sox lead expanding here, Gary. They just keep getting big hits. Number 18, Johnny Damon. Base is empty, one out. First pitch on the way to Damon. Hot shot towards the hole, and it gets through two for two. So that brings Alexei Ramirez up. 
Uh, now he's surrendered three straight oh, hits. He's got to bounce back and get this guy. He needs an out. And uh, at the plate, one of the tops and runs scored. Top five. Swing and a drive. Deep left center. This one fielded by Millage. Bounces up against the wall. Well, Alexi Ramirez's but season so far. Let's take a look at where he First ranks compared to everybody else. 14. Second in doubles, oh, third most in hits. Uh, he, you'll notice he's also ranked in the top five in batting average. A guy that puts it in play, finds holes, and finds a way to get himself on base. The opportunity for offense is right now. And he's safe in there at first. And they bring him home. Coming to and the White Sox, the they just White keep Sox. rolling. Right fielder, number 20, Carlo Quinton. kind of lean in Steve and slap that thing the other way in that kind of pitch. Well that you can't pull that pitch if you do it's going to be a ground ball to short you want to punch it to right field. He's hit hard to second. And Ramirez is home. Coming to bat with the Chicago White well, This is remarkable he second cannot base. get anybody out. I mean you talk about six seconds. consecutive hits. I mean they're going right through the lineup one after another everybody's swinging the bat well. One out with runners at first and second. And the first pitch swung on hit sharply to first. The second for one and the deuce a double play. So they add a four spot here to extend their lead even further. White Sox continue to run away with this ball game. And if you just joined our broadcast, great to have you on board. 2K Sports Major League Baseball, I'm Gary Thorne with Steve Phillips and John Clark. And it's Lasting's Millage now to lead it off. Danks gets set and delivers. Looks at one. That's in there for a strike. Well, this starts out a strike and it ends up a strike. You got to swing the bat. This one's grounded to second. Beckham. And Millage is retired. And late in the first half of the season now, here's how the race is shaping up in the Central Division. We see it on our State Farm standings board. It's the Cubs in first. In the second spot, it's the Reds. The Brewers, third place. In the fourth spot, the Cardinals. The Pirates, fifth. And wrapping up the list, the Astros. Now it's been a real struggle again in Pittsburgh. Uh, once again, that push to the back of the pack. And it's going to take some time for this management team to get this team going again. Hit in the air to left center. And that'll retire Church. Two away. Number 15. It's LaRoche at the plate. His fourth time around, he's gone one for three off Danks. Ace is empty and two down. And LaRoche watches it low for a ball. The best curveballs are the ones that start in the strike zone, then fall out of the strike zone. He couldn't get him to fish for that one, though. Fast ball, just misses, and he falls behind 2-0. Oh. And that breaks low, and it even ends up in the dirt. Danks gets set and delivers. And that's by him for the first strike. LaRoche stays off. It's a strike. You can really stay out of big trouble in the big inning if you can spot your fastball down in the zone. The payoff pitch. Here's Danks. Big swing and a miss for Andy LaRoche. Strike three. Send him back. 
So John Danks gets some three up, three down. He's put in some effective pitching so far. And it'll be the White Sox. Isaac Gian taking a look at you right there. Last inning, that pitching gave up nothing. That's what he wants to see. Now looking for the offense to try and expand the lead. And Alex Rios up. And right now, top five and runs batted in in the league. That one's going to be put in play. McCutcheon to field it. So Rios is set down. One away. Now State Farm brings you the teams leading the way in extra base hits for the month. Number one, the White Sox. The Yankees second. The Red Sox third. Fourth, the Angels. And we've got the Rangers. They are fifth. It's going to be Przinsky. He's in the top echelon of hits right now. Picked up by LaRoche. And so Przinsky retired. And here's Martin. In the top ten in hits. Two outs, bases empty. And Domitz calling for the pitch. That one swung out and hit. And McCutcheon. That one's grabbed. Side retired. Amazingly fast inning. Uh, out. And we're going to see Pierce here. First base. Number 51, Steve Pierce. There's a strike from Danks, now 0 and 1. Well, if he can throw this cutter down and away like this, he's going to be very effective. That's an outstanding pitch. On the way. Oh. Here's the delivery. And that's hit Damon to field. Able to make the grab on that one. One out. Shortstop. Number 13. And we're going to see Zedano here. Zedano. One out, nobody on. And it goes foul. Foul! Ball! That misses one and one. Lifetime 289 off the White Sox. Right Takes two. a swing at that fastball, doesn't get to it, one and two. Get a little extra giddy up on that one as he just blows it right by him. And the one two oh. pitch from Danks. And it remains one and two. Hit up the middle. No oh my! It ends up in the glove. I can't believe he caught that. He was just trying to get out of the way. What a play by the pitcher. You think about the infielders, third base, first base. They at least have 90 feet to react. We're talking 60 feet, six inches. Those are some kind of reactions. Now the first pitch. Danks gets him to swing and miss for a strike. Up the middle. Oh, that'll move you on the mound. He just barely got out of the way. And, and the that's play. going to bring Akinori Iwamura up. Second base. Number three. Ground out victim last Akinori time through. Iwamura. A runner on first with two outs. Fresh count. Iwamura. Here it is. That's a good pitch from Danks. It's in there. The pitch. Swung on. Grounded towards the hole. Go in time forces him at second for the third out. And we see another good John Danks performance in that inning. No runs allowed. And as Jim told me in the box now, he homered earlier in the ball game. Number twenty. Well, the team winning, he's been a big part of the offense, driving in the run with a base hit, and then the home run where he got a pitch that he could drive out of the ballpark and capitalized on it. Escanio will be called on to pitch. They've decided it was time to make a change here. He delivers. That fastball gets by him on the first pitch, 0 and 1. Now, if you got a chance to see the last game, you saw he seemed a little bit flustered at the plate, expanding the strike zone, striking out twice in that game. Retiring, tell me. And it's Johnny Damon. Right there in the top five in home runs.
One out, nobody on. First pitch on the way to Damon. Swings and misses at the fastball, 0-1. Uh, Gary, he, he can really swing the bat. Just a quality approach at the plate, day in and day out. That consistency is critical to their success. Strike two. Strike two. No balls, two strikes. Veteran Damon, though, he'll cut it down and try to just poke it out there. Well, the hitter's got to protect the outer part of the plate right here, down 0-2. Well, he finished that one off with a strikeout. Nice pitch. Alexi, you know, what I like about this is on 0-2, he didn't mess around. He didn't try to nibble to get him chase off the plate. He goes right at him and just gets the strikeout. And a shot here for Alexi Ramirez. Two down. Top five AL in run scored. Swings on that first pitch. Misses the fastball. 0-1. He deals. And it's 0 and 2. Alexei Ramirez going to have to protect now. Well, looking for a bounce back performance today. Some disappointment after last game striking out twice. Here's one. Hit very well deep. And that's the third out. That'll do it. No runs, no hits. Nobody crossed the plate in this half inning, and nobody left on base. And and a dugout shot there of John Russell. And a bit of frustration at this point. Not the game he'd hoped, at least now. Danks gets set and delivers. Mm -mm. Chases that one. It's high, but it's a strike. Well, they've got a couple hits here, and we're into the fourth inning. So they maybe they're starting to get something going. And the second time through the lineup, maybe they'll try to figure something out, Gary. Big swing and a miss on a heater. Strike him out one down. Well, that one's as straight as a straight. Just registered 91 on the gun. This is a tough pitch to handle, but he takes the swings anyway. Johnny had to do that, right? Well, it would have been a strike regardless, but sometimes you got to make the pitcher work a little bit harder out there for the good of the team. And that finds the outside corner for strike one. Well, if he can throw this cutter down and away like this, he's going to be very effective. That's an outstanding pitch. A swing and a fly ball to left center field. And in there, base hit. That's going to bring Lasting's millage up. Our State Farm leaderboard, the group of arms who have been lights out over the past 10 games. The White Sox number one, the Red Sox in second, the Rays third, the Twins fourth, and number five, the Indians rounded out. You take a look at these pitching staffs and how successful they've been limiting the opposition in runs scored. And that can go a long way to helping a team win. Here's the delivery. Swung on and missed. Strike two. It's a foul by Millage. Change up. Thought he had him, but it's one and two. Well, he tried to change up right there, but it just stayed down and off the plate. Swing and a miss on the fastball. Suck it out in the inning. Right with two strikes, Number the hitter wanted the fastball. He Ryan. got it, but didn't do anything with it. Runner on first, two away. First pitch to him. There's a strike from Danks, now 0-1. Well, oh, that's a quality fastball right there, just pounding the strike zone down and away. He had no oh. chance to put that one in play. Church isn't fooled by that pitch. The count is evened up. Head up the middle. Danks. He'll throw on to first, and that'll do it for this half inning. And so a good inning for John Danks. Plenty of run support as he takes his shutout through four innings of work. Fifth inning, we're ready here at PNC Park. And Paul Canerco to lead it off. Single home run in his last at bat. Well, a complete game here for him. I mean, you talk about the RBIs, the homers. I mean, this guy's doing everything today. And he starts Canerco out. Swings and misses the slider. 0-1. You saw their last game. You saw what a big part of their offense he was contributing with three base hits. Can't catch up with it. 0-2. Boy, he's got great movement on that two-seamer. It's one of the best around. Curveball. Got him one away. Here's the curve on KK. Fantastic piece of pitching to get that out, John. 
Well, that's the part of pitching you love. He's looking for a fastball. He's expecting a fastball. And then just drop one right off the table. What a pitch. Carlos Quinton batting now. There's one down. He's number one in runs scored in the league. Right Slider ball. swung on and missed. 0 oh and 1. Such a consistent, productive, professional hitter. You know, one of their best bats in the lineup, Gary. Swing and a miss. Tough spot for the hitter right here. Down 0 2. You got to foul off that tough pitch if you have to. There's a ball hit well deep into center field. Way back there, still going. Remarkable. They now lead by seven with that solo shot. He tried to beat him up and in with that pitch, but didn't lock him up, and he was able to drive it. Not really a bad pitch right there, but as soon as he got around, you knew that was gone. Not many guys can hit that one, but this guy can. And Beckham's in the box. Number 15, Gordon Beckham. Here's the first pitch. It's 0-1 as he swings and misses at that fastball. Well, you viewers at home, if you'd like to see a lot of fireworks, hang in, because right now it's just up the middle. And it gets through. Not bad. Two for three today. So that brings Alex Rios to the plate. On tap for the Pirates. Thursday they will finish up the Chicago series. They stay home for another team series. The Cleveland Indians. That's going to get going on Friday night. After that they meet up with Ian Kensler and the always difficult Rangers. That series bound to be competitive. And one of the top 10 averages right now. And he starts Rios out. Fastball right swung on a miss, stowing one. Here's the pitch. Right swung on and missed behind now, 0 and 2. A great changeup right there. You see how far out in front of it he is? He strikes out Alex Rios in a swing and a miss. Well, you can hang laundry on that one. 94 miles per hour. Pretty good velocity, but that's pretty straight. Good job of keeping him guessing by changing speeds out there. And boy, John, you saw the effect of that. That swing, he wasn't even in the same time zone. But going from off speed to a heater like that is never easy, and even guys that make the big bucks have a hard time adjusting. Here's the first pitch. Swings and misses the slider. 0-1. And that's a strike. A.J. Pruszynski now behind on the count. Defensive stance at the plate. You're and A.J. Pruszynski strikes out, unable to make contact on that pitch. So they pick up a run on the home run and add to their lead. White Sox continue to run away with this ball game. We got the bottom three in the lineup due up. Here's a look at Ozzie. Ozzie Gant. Things have been going right for him. His ball club today, uh, last half inning, they proved productive. Now they're looking to expand that lead. Danks gets set and delivers. And LaRoche watches it low for a ball. Well, offensively, they just have not been able to get anything going. Only one runner left on base, so they just need more opportunities and see if they can't capitalize on it. The 1 1 pitch. And there's the inside pitch from Danks. That's a tough pitch for a hitter. That breaking ball that he's bearing toward the back foot. Tough to lay off. Ground ball to short. And Ramirez fields the ball. And that'll retire LaRoche. Here's a look at teams on a roll. Our State Farm leaderboard, the lineups with the best batting average this past month. Number one, the Brewers. The Phillies in second. The Braves third. Fourth, the Mets. And it's the Pirates' fifth best. Uh, the real deep lineups right here. You see these offenses, the ability to put the ball in play, pick up the base hits, and continue to force the defense to try to make plays. Fouled off that first pitch, and it's 0-1. Now 0-2, Danks with some pitches to play with. The hitter thought that ball was inside. It certainly wasn't low, and it looks like it was in there. Oh. Still 0-2. And Przinsky calls for the pitch. 
Swing and a miss on the cutter that time. Two down. A pretty healthy break. 88 mile per hour breaking ball. Well, sometimes you get fooled so badly, there's just nothing else you can do but hope and pray that you put the ball in play, hopefully foul, to get another pitch to hit. And we're going to see Cedeno here. 0 for 2 lifetime against John Dex. First pitch, here it comes. Sliders in there, no balls and a strike. This is an effective pitch when you can bury that slider down and in, bury it at the back foot of the hitter, very difficult to hit. That's a foul ball. Cutter strike three call. That'll do it in the inning. No scoring here ending this half inning. No production yet from the Pirates. And here's Mark Tian leading it off. Great season, top ten in RBI. Number 25, Mark Tian. First one to Tian. Here's the pitch. Takes a swing at that fastball. Can't connect. 0 1. Swung on and missed. Strike two. On his last game, came so close to hitting for the cycle. Got the home run and the single and double, but unfortunately, just couldn't come up with a triple. And Tian swings and misses. Strike three. But K Cam's going to show us the four seam fastball here. Two straight fastballs he still couldn't catch up with. Well, the pitcher comes back with a fastball right after he threw one and gets the K. You know he's throwing gas out there. Base is empty with one away. Tomei gets in. Here's the first delivery. Takes a swing, but he's too late on that one. Strike one. Well, that pitch right there, he just blew it right by the hitter. Swung late. Swing deep into right center field. Way, way back there. Out of here, a home run. They add to the lead. Man, what a big day these guys are having. Now it's Damon at the plate. The Homered Lions back in the first Scott inning. Base is empty, one out. Johnny Damon. First pitch on the way. In there for a strike. On his last game, came so close to hitting for the cycle. Got the home run and the single and double, but unfortunately, just couldn't come up with a triple. Can't catch up with it. 0 2. Swings, hits this one very high, deep to left center. Gone. That's a dinger. They add to the lead. Man, what a big day these guys are having. Well, they're really taking advantage of him right now, Gary. I mean, two at-bats and two home runs, and he clearly doesn't look comfortable out there. A little conference on the mound might not hurt here with either the catcher or pitching coach. And uh, in the batter's the box, White it's Park. Ramirez. Shortstop, number 10. Alexi One out, bases in. And here's the first one. First pitch, and he misses the fastball, strike one. Well, you viewers at home, if you'd like to see a lot of fireworks, hang in, because right now it's just all strike over two. this yard. Well, the power being shown off here, another home run, and it's a highlight reel of power. The pitch, swing and a miss, slider, two down. Well, K Cam registers 87 miles per hour with very little break. Fantastic piece of pitching to get that out, John. Well, that's the part of pitching you love. He's looking for a fastball, he's expecting a fastball, and then just drop one right off the table. What a pitch. And it's Paul Canerco now. He's the league leader in ribbies. And he starts Canerco out. Grounder, LaRoche. Throws on to first in time to retire the side. So they get the long ball working as they have two solo homers in this half of the inning. White Sox continue to run away with this ball game.
McCutcheon into the batter's box. He had a single in his last time up. Here's the first pitch. And that swung on and hit. Rios. One away. And a special MLB treat coming up for Father's Day. It'll be Derek Lee and the Chicago Cubs. They play host to the Los Angeles Angels. The action gets going at 2 o'clock Eastern. Looking forward to that one, Gary. That's going to be some kind of ball game to tune into. Nobody on base. One away. Fresh count. Iwamura. Here it is. Ball. Throws that curveball a little low. Ball one. Gary, he's not felt any pressure out there on the mound. The defense has not felt that much pressure either. But only one. A swing and a batted ball. Damon. The catch is made, and that's out number two. Oh, Gary, he's pitching well right now. I mean, that's seven straight that he's retired. He is really locked in. Two outs and nobody on. Danks gets set and delivers. Swing and a miss by Jones. Strike one. No balls, one strike. Here's Danks. 0-1, oh, fastball and a called strike. Sometimes you get a pitch, and if it's early enough in the count, you can just say, not this one, I'm going to wait for the next one. Swung on and ripped towards second. And in there, he's two for three today. And that's going to bring Ryan Doman up now. Well, that pitch down and away is the toughest in the game to hit. That's a perfect pitch from the pitcher. Great piece of hitting. And keep that in mind next time around. We'll see whether or not he changes up and how he throws to this guy. Beckham. Throw over to second base. A force to retire the side. Steve, we got three innings left to go in this ball game. He's got the shutout going. And we'll see whether or not he's got enough to go through. Well, it's a fantastic effort so far. Now it comes down to Hart. Does he have the heart to finish it off? The White Sox still ahead. Leading it off, Carlos Quinton. He went deep in his last time up. Number 20, Carlos Quinton. First pitch to Quinton. It's strike one. Can't make contact on the fastball. The career batting average for him, 241 off the Pirates. Strike two. strike two. Now with no balls, two strikes. Quinton needs to protect that strike zone. It's tough for hitters to protect both. There's a swing and a miss, but he's headed for first. And out. The catcher makes the play. Oh, that's a great play, Gary. Pitch in the dirt. Gets away from the catcher. Does a great job retrieving the ball and gunning him out at first. If you're a pitcher, you never want those strikeouts not to get recorded. Good play to be able to get the out at first base. And he gets this one by him on one. Boy, he just couldn't wait for that changeup to get in the strike zone. You can't try to chase it. You have to let it come to you. Strike two. Gordon Beckham now will have to keep an eye out on the strike zone. Well, he's got great movement on that two-seamer. It's one of the best around. He got him so far. Eight strikeouts today. Well, he's up in the mid-90s now, so pretty good velocity, but not much break on it. Well, he just looked overpowered on those two fastballs. John thought the uh, timing that time just didn't seem to be there in the end. Well, and a, and a strikeout like that will give the pitcher a lot of confidence. Strike. He swings on that 0-0 delivery, misses the fastball. Strike one. Credit the catcher on that one. That's a good low target setting up, and he hit the target. Strike good two. execution. That's a strike, and it's 0-2. Time for Rios now to protect. Well, how about a chance to get through an inning without any base runners and without any runs? I mean, they've been blown out in this one so far. Put a, put, a zero, <clears throat> put a zero up there, and let's see if the offense can get it done. And they are retired in short order. Good defensive half inning. White Sox nine. Pittsburgh nothing. Manager's face. That's John Russell. He knows he's going to have to get more innings like that last one and have some production to tie this one up. And it's Lasting's Millage now to lead it off. 0 for 2 thus far. Danks gets set and delivers. Put something off and it's swung on and missed. 0 and 1. 
Well, holding them scoreless so far in this one and only allowed four hits, Gary, and I think a real credit to what he's been able to do. Outstanding work between the pitcher and catcher. Just a great plan of attack. Millage fouls it off again. Well, when a pitcher throws a pitch out there 0 oh, 2, you're expecting him to get a ground out or a strikeout, but this guy just reaches out, puts it in play, defensive swing to keep this thing going. That'll bring up Ryan Church. And late in the first half of the season now, here's how the race is shaping up in the Central Division. You see it on our State Farm standings board. It's the White Sox in first, in the second spot, the Twins. Third, the Royals, the Tigers fourth place, and that ball swung on, hit Rios to field it. That's one down. We have said it more than once today, but he continues to look extremely sharp, Steve. He's so locked in. You, you wonder how long he can keep it going. I haven't seen anybody pitch like this in a long time. Thanks gets set and delivers. Just missed with the fastball. One and oh. 1 0 now. Hit in the air to left center. Now it's two away. The question now is can he keep this going? Now, you know what? It's different for every guy, but from what we see today, he is locked in, dominating stuff, and he looks strong. Here's the first pitch. Ready with a 1 0. Hit in the air, in right, foul territory. Good oh. effort there, but he couldn't get into position to make that play. One he two. watches the 1 1 pitch, takes a fastball, strike two. Velocity and location are absolutely critical. That pitch was exactly where he wanted to throw it. Got it. The side is retired. And Steve, he has shut him down, and it's seven now under his belt. Unstoppable at this point. Absolutely unstoppable. I think he's going to finish it off. So they can't figure anything out. And through seven, they remain without a run. Leading it off, A.J. Krasinski. AJ and the first pitch Strike and one. that's by him on one strike and two. that's a strike AJ Krasinski now behind in the count defensive stance at the plate well that change up down on the way is so tough it's really one of those ones all you can do is spoil well. it and hope to get the next one settling back in at the plate now he had to really jump to get out of the way of the last one well, he knew exactly what he was doing, throwing it that far in on the plate, backing the hitter off. Now he's set up to go away again. Got him there. That was a nice strikeout. And Mark T into bat. Struck out swinging last time. Here's the pitch. Reaches out for that one. He's behind on the count, 0 1. Well, you have to be ready for something hard, and this guy wasn't anticipating it. That's why he was late oh. on that two seam fastball. And he leaves that one alone. Mark T and shows patience to even it. We have to remember these middle relievers, they're not used to coming in and throwing over 45 pitches, but that's where he's at right now. You might see his control run away from him a little bit right here. Taps this one foul to the right. Struck him out. That's going to be 11 in the game. Well, Gary, let's see this pitch again in KCAM. Here's another look at the changeup. Boy, it looks like he froze him on the outside corner. He sure did. As a hitter, you've got to recognize a pitcher's tendencies up there. I think the pitcher had him guessing up there the hole at bat. Tomei gets in. Here's the first delivery. Swings and misses the good change right there on one. Well, they need a shutout, shutout inning right here to get back in there and score some runs. At least looking like they got a chance to get through it without giving up some runs. There's a swing and a liner towards the gap in left field. And it's starting to head out towards the wall. He's thinking extra bases. 
And he'll stop at second base, and it will be a double. Left fielder, number 18, Johnny Damon. Well, he's having a heck of a day so far. It's his third hit of the game in this one. They just can't seem to find an answer for him. First pitch on the way to Damon. The 0-0 delivery of fastball taken for a strike. He's just popping that glove with that four-seam fastball, pounding the strike zone. Strike two. No balls, two strikes. Veteran Damon, though. He'll cut it down and try to just poke it out there. Swung on. That is hit. They pick up no runs on one hit and leave a man at second. Now, here come the Pirates. It's going to be the home half of the eighth inning. Now we're going to see Cedeno here. He's going to lead off the home half of the eighth. Here's the first one. And he takes the ball, 1-0. Oh. Okay, listen, he's, he's made pitches. He's had, they've had a few base runners on against them, no question about it. They've gotten a few hits, but he's not. Swung on a fly ball down the left field line. Damon. And he's able to put it away. And now we've got one down here in this eighth inning of a shutout ball game. Now he's just putting on a show out there right now, Gary. Hot fastball in there for a called strike. And you could throw the ball down in the zone with that kind of movement. It can be very effective. One Looks one. at a ball. One on one. Here's the one one pitch. Takes a call. Strike two. And you could throw the ball down in the zone with that kind of movement. It can be very effective. Wow. Swing and a foul straight back. And the one two pitch from Danks towards center field. And in there, second hit for him in the ball game on his fourth plate appearance. And that's going to bring Akinori Iwamura up. He takes this one two pitch down in the zone. He's able to go down and get it. Get a good part of the bat on the ball and pick up the base hit. That's a tough pitch to hit when you're behind in the count. You just want contact, and he got it. Here's the delivery. And it's 0-2. Akinori Iwamura, he'll be swinging if it's close. Well, that fastball right there, he just blew it by him. And it holds at 0-2. And, and that one's going to get by, and the runner will advance. The throw... And he's safely aboard second base. Got him. Two down now. And you got to be thinking ahead just a little bit. He doesn't look like he's getting tired. It's still a shutout. Well, at this point, adrenaline just takes over. He's focused, determined. He's ignoring any fatigue. First pitch, swing, hot shot. They're held in check yet again, scoreless through eight innings. The White Sox maintaining their lead. Number two hole set to get things started. And uh, in the batter's box, it's Ramirez. Alexi, now, Gary, Ramirez. I think you're losing a little something here. I don't think this guy's nearly as solid defensively as the one he's replacing, so interesting move. That fastball gets by him on the first pitch, 0-1. And it's 0-2. Alexei Ramirez going to have to protect now. I don't think he's going to waste any time right now. He's just going to go right at him with that 0-2 pitch. Got him. That is strikeout number 12. His pitches complement one another. They work off of each other. And he used a tremendous sequence right there. 1-2-3. Strikeout. See you later. Base is empty with one away. Here it comes. Swings at that fastball and misses. 0-1. Boy, well, he's got great movement on that two-seamer. It's one of the best around. Strike two. No balls and two strikes. Canerco now will look to tighten up that zone. 
Well, the pitcher has him back up the middle. Oh, and he makes the catch. He was just trying to get out of the way that time. He ends up with a ball and an out. What a play by the pitcher right there. He should have seen it. I think he had to close his eyes to make that catch. First pitch to Quinton. Cut on and missed 0 1. Line towards first. That's going to bring Gordon Beckham up. Now breaking down Carlos Quentin's season so far. Let's see how he stacks up compared to everybody else. First in batting average. First in batting average with runners in scoring position. He's also a hit machine, leading the league in hits right now, swinging the bat well. Every time he puts it in play, he seems to find a hole. There's a swing, line drive, center field. And that's through a base hit. Coming on a big two out hit right there at his third hit of the game so far. This man's doing what he has to do to help his team win. And he starts Rios out. That one swung on, hit in the air. This one fielded by Millage. And that's out number three. No runs and a couple of hits and two left on. And the Pirates, it'll be their turn coming up. Eight of the lineup coming to the plate. Taking account of the ball game, there's Ozzie Guillen. Great game his club has put together. Things have gone really well. It's hit foul by Domit. Danks gets set and delivers. Good patience as Domit lets that one go by for a ball, and the count is even. Well, he's dazzled him out on the mound here in this one. He shut hit hard on the ground to short, and Ramirez feels the ball. That retires Domit. Then you get this close, two outs away from having a complete game shutout. Now, Gary, it always helps to have solid defensive play backing you up when you're trying to put the finishing touches on a game like this. Cutter misses badly on a no. Here's the 1-0. Swung on, hit softly to left. That's a base hit. Millage on board. Having the back. But when the hitter stepped up the plate, the last place he expected to get a hit from a pitch was one inside off the plate. How he swung at it, how he got the bat on it, unbelievable job. No one will know that. Good job of hitting. That ball swung on, hit. Rios to field it. That's the second out of the inning. You're that close, but you got to get one more out. Well, he's been great, but his defense is really coming through behind him. Everyone on the team excited to be part of a potential shutout. Two outs and a man on first. Danks gets set and delivers. LaRoche stays off. It's a strike. Well, if he can throw this cutter down and away like this, he's going to be very effective. That's an outstanding pitch. Swing and a miss, and the ball game is over, and he does it. What a performance. He has pitched the shutout. Those are not easily come by. I'll tell you, what an effort from the big guy. For a while, I thought he was going to run out of gas, but he just kept on battling. I admire his drive and determination. A tough loss here for this crowd today, but boy, do they see some, some kind of pitching performance from the visiting team. And it's that time of the broadcast where we bestow the Pepsi Clutch Performance Award. Definitely a difference maker in this one, John Danks. Well, you couldn't have asked for a more dominant display on the mound than what we saw today. He was mixing his pitches well, changing speeds, but the thing you noticed, he didn't throw any pitches over the center of the plate. That's what made it so special. And when he needed it, he could get back and reach back and get that little bit extra when he needed that big out. Made it look easy out there today, Gary. And we got to see a terrific performance out of their starter. And he was able to ride that one on to victory. Well, an outstanding effort. He had everything working today. The good stuff and location to shut down the opponent. And we hope you've enjoyed today's 2K Sports broadcast of Major League Baseball. For Steve John and our entire 2K Sports crew, I'm Gary Thorne. We will see you soon.